Would that refresh your memory? No. What is the definition of shall? I'm not answering that question. Mark the record, the uh, witness refuses to answer the question. What is the definition of neglect? I'm not answering that question either. Mark the record that the um, witness refuses to answer the question. I just object to the, to the extent that that's being used as a legal term. <laughs> How does the district educate the coaching staff, administrators, and student athletes, and faculty on the new hazing law that was passed in Pennsylvania back in 2018. Mr. Taylor, is it within the scope of this discussion? Well, it does refer, are you re referring to a specific part of your complaint? Yes, to the lack of calling a meeting under 426 okay. of the Pennsylvania School Code. Okay, you should answer. Okay, could you please restate your question? Sure. How does the district educate the coaching staff, administrators, and student athletes, and faculty on the new anti-hazing law passed in Pennsylvania back in 2018? I do not recall how they educate the complete district on the anti-hazing law of 2018. Can you share an example of any training that took place? or education that took place related to the anti-hazing laws passed in Pennsylvania back in 2018. Are you asking for a specific date of any nope, training? No, I'm asking for any example of a training process or anything that occurred that relates to educating the members of the district government on the anti-hazing law. I, I do not know. An Annie Hayes program was offered to the district on February 3rd of 2020. After it was reported in the general media that we had some issues in this regard. What efforts did you take to bring a program to our entire community to help stop the hazing and bullying issues that we were experiencing? I did not bring any to the community. Did you read the email that was presented on the Annie Hayes program and offered to this district? Yes. What action did you take upon receiving that email? None. When the community sponsored the educational program and interventions in cooperation with the Carbon County District Attorney's Office, Pennsylvania Attorney General's Office, and safe to, safe to say office, as president of the school board, what did you do? I did not attend the meeting. How about a robocall? Did you suggest a robocall? It's not my position to suggest a robocall. Did you offer the use of the new elementary center gym? No, I don't authorize the use of facilities. Who does authorize the use of the facilities? Me community members request the use of facilities. And then who authorizes the use of those the board. facilities? Are you a member of the board? I am. So I'll re-ask. In that specific instance, I do not solicit the community to use our facilities. Did you or any family members attend the meeting? No. Did the board ever apply the Lehighton Area School District policy to the students found to be hazing? Oh, sir, can you repeat that? Did the board ever apply the Lehighton Area School District policy to the students found to be hazing? I don't know who the students were. I don't know the disciplinary actions that were taken against those students. The district allegedly never responded to the formal written complaint. That's the administration 
and the board. Why? Uh, objection. Who, wait, who, who allegedly, who alleged? The, di the um, person that wrote the formal written complaint okay. alleged that the board and the administration never responded to their formal written complaint presented to the board. Okay, I'm asking okay. why. No, 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 understand. I just want to understand a question. That's yep. one of the reasons I objected to any observers, anyone else being in the room, because this is um, information that's kept within the district. It's confidential in nature, uh, discipline of students. Um, but again, if you can answer, or if you need to repeat it. It was actually this. This letter was public. Okay, but but earlier, prior the prior formal, you had asked about discipline of students. The formal written complaint. I agree. No okay. problem. Okay. I'm sorry, Kevin, Mr. Brown. Can you restate the question, sir? The district allegedly never responded to the formal written complaint. That's the administration or the board. Why? The hazing issue was actually handled by the Lehigh Area Police Department. The district police department and with the district attorney's office. As a government agency and president of the board, does this government have any authority to investigate and adjudicate its own policy in regards to the occurrences that happened on school grounds? I, I, I'm, I'm, um, you want to restate your question? Can you please repeat it? As a government agency and president of the board, does this government have any authority to investigate the adjudication of its own policy in regards to the occurrences that happened on school grounds? Can you define adjudication? Sure. Adjudication, the action or process of adjudicating a formal judgment on the disputed matter. You're going to have to say I don't know. I'm looking at page 13 first. Motion by Mr. Bradley, second by Ms. Mahalik, that the board ask administration to provide the board members with the actual bank statements from the bank accounts the district has. Motion was discussed by board members and audience members, and you voted no to not provide the bank statements. Okay. My question was, why? Wait a second. Okay. Do you see the motion? I do see the motion here. I, I see both motions here. Um, again, I'm. Well, let's just deal with the first one first. I'm, I'm referencing my memory of what happened. This was not a written motion that we were prepared for in advance. This was an off-the-cuff motion um, brought forth by Mr. Bradley. Uh, Mr. Bradley also has um, a habit, as I have seen in other instances, um, of saying one thing and later interpreting it to mean something different than it was understood by others present. So my time, at, my vote at that place in time uh, was, was not to approve that motion. Go to the next motion on the page, which would be page 14. A motion by Ms. Mahalik, or I'm sorry, a motion by David Bradley, second by Ms. Mahalik, that David Bradley be given the bank statements of every bank account within this district. How did you vote? I voted no. Why would you not want or allow the bank statements, which you have control over as the treasurer, to be provided by or to other board members? That's a very vague question. Okay. If you're asking why I voted no, it, was, it may have been due to the non-specificity of the motion. And again, my hesitation or concern to how it would be presented or assumed to be defined in the future. Okay. So every bank statement is pretty specific. Within this district could this potentially district. be later stated to mean everybody who lives in the district and has a bank account. We're talking about school district bank accounts. 
government bank accounts. I just, I just gave you my reasons for how I voted. Okay. As treasurer, have you ever provided any bank statements to your board? I have not. Have you ever provided end of the month statements to all of your board members? Personally, no, I have not. All right, so back to this uh, email that was presented, uh, Stern one. An email was provided to the board on January 9th of 2020, 2.04 p.m. It was from the parents, signed their names and provided their email and phone number. The subject was written formal complaint of sexual abuse. And in the complaint, and I quote, then they held him down, proceeded to hit him with football pads, hold his legs apart and shove the broomstick up his rectum, followed by this occurred on a daily basis prior to practice and occasionally after concluding with hoping to hear from you quickly regarding this matter how did you respond to that letter i did not respond to the person who sent this letter as a government agent and part of a government agency as a school director what responsibilities do you have to respond to that formal written complaint. I have no ability to individually act in any way as a school director. Does that absolve you from taking action as Object a school director? Uh, objection, absolution, that's not a legal um, term. Do you know of any responsibility you would have regarding that letter? Responsibility to whom? Your uh, oath of office. I believe, again, you're asking for a matter of opinion here. I yes, I'm no asking answer. for a matter of opinion. No, I have no answer. Okay. If I told you it said act with fidelity? You've told me that many times, yes. Okay. Did you ever look that up? No. To be informed? No. What actions did you take as vice president regarding formal written complaints? None. As a member of this government agency, please describe the process of handling a formal written complaint. Goes to the administration. What gives you that impression? Because that's the way it works. And who taught you that over your nine year history? Nobody taught me. Where would you look it up to find out what the process is for a formal written complaint to a government agency? In our policies. Are you on the policy committee? I am. Do you read the Lehighton School policy? I do. Is it outlined anywhere within the policy how to handle formal written complaints within I our district? I don't know. I don't have it in front of me. Okay. Because okay. the matter was under investigation by the authorities. From a legal standpoint, we respect that those authorities were working within their jurisdiction. As a director, your jurisdiction is the Lehighton Area School District policy, our local laws at a local level, our school policy. Do you have any responsibility to listen to the people and maybe adjust or change any of those policies in light of the occurrences that took place? Uh, objection. She herself has, has the authority to respond? Yeah, she does. You said her individually? Yeah. To change the policy? No, she oh. has the ability to respond in an effort to change the policy. And the method in which that happens is she's on the policy committee, she's a director, and she has to <coughs> seek stakeholder input. If they want the policy changed, she has to listen to that effort. So the question is, why wouldn't you listen to the people during that time so that you could hear the problems and then possibly recognize that you do have some authority in helping change the policies within the district. Because it was under investigation by several government agencies and not for public discussion. Even the fact that some of these kids were unsupervised? Objection, I asked an answer, she just answered the question. I just answered you. We didn't see an email from you 
granting the request to allow people to speak and calling a special meeting. Did you send one? Did you send your vote in to Larry to not meet or to meet? Verbally, I called and told him yes. You called him? Mm -hmm. At work, cell, home? Home. All right, I'm going to give you the same email that we had as exhibit right here. What did you call that one? Stern one. Stern one. In that email, you were listed as a recipient. Yes. Did you ever see that email before? Yes. Okay. The email that I provided you was sent to the board and the administration on January 9th of 2020 at 2.04 p.m. It was from a parent who signed their names and provided their email and phone number. The subject was written formal complaint of sexual abuse. And in the complaint, and I quote, they held him down, proceeded to hit him with football pads, hold his legs apart, and shove the broomstick up his rectum. Followed by, this occurred on a daily basis prior to practice and occasionally after. Concluded with, hoping to hear from you quickly regarding this matter. How did you respond to that letter? I did not. It was in the hands of the administration, the police, the district attorney, and the um, school police. You had no response? No. What did you do with the letter? I read it. Did you do anything with it? I read it. Okay. Did you forward it to anybody? No, because the administration already had it. We can move to the next witness. Okay. I have a couple. When the opportunity to call the special meeting was put in front of you, why did you vote no? I don't recall. Okay. When the people in the community were suffering from bullying, hazing, and physical injuries occurring within school grounds. And there was an opportunity to allow those people to voice the concerns so policies can be changed and they can be addressed. Why did you vote no? I don't recall. You don't remember. Okay, we're gonna go back to this letter. If you can grab that top letter. That letter was sent to the entire board On January 9th at 2.04 p.m. It was from the parents who signed their names and provided their email and phone number. The subject was written formal complaint of sexual abuse. And in the complaint, and I quote, they then held him down, proceeded to hit him with football pads, hold his legs apart, and shoved the broomstick up his rectum, followed by, this occurred on a daily basis prior to practice and occasionally after, concluded by, hoping to hear from you quickly regarding this matter. The question is, how did you respond to that letter? The question is to me? Yeah, the question is to you. How I didn't did respond to the letter. What did you do with the letter? I don't recall. Have you ever been bullied? Oh, many times. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Bradley. Thank you. And have you ever been hazed when you were younger? I can't recall. How does it make you feel? How would it make Objection. me feel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how does it make I, you I don't feel? know what, what this is going to, to. How does it make you feel to be bullied? Obje objection. He, he wasn't bullied as, as, a, as a board member, I assume, other than whatever he may allude to. Uh, this concerns his actions as a board member. Not what he did as a kid. I, I am looking at his actions as a board member. He just testified that in re receiving this email from parents who reached out to the authority within our government agency looking for a response. So my question is, when you were bullied, how did it make you feel 
And did you have that feeling and compassion when uh, you received this definitely letter? Definitely objection. You do not have to answer that, sir. I'd like him to. Well, I don't. I know. And he's not going to. He's not going to? You so sure? you have another qu I'm positive. Okay, good. Do you have another question? Yeah. So you're on the athletic committee. Do you have any responsibility as an athletic committee member to oversee the athletic department in our district? As to what are you referring to? What responsibilities do you have as a, as a board member, a government official, to provide oversight to the athletic department within this district? As a board member. As a board member. As an individual board as member. As an individual board member acting on the board's behalf inside of a committee meeting, authorized by the board to be on that committee as part of the agency, you have some responsibilities. Which ones are they, and how do you apply them? Well, let's see. I felt sad that this happened in Lee Heighton. I felt sad for the boy. I felt yeah, sad. Yeah, that's not the question. That is not the question. He's asking what responsibility do you have as a committee member? As a committee member? I'm, I'm happy as a board member. I'm happy as an athletic committee member. Uh, I think we're doing many things that are correct, and we're working to improve every day the athletic committee itself. That's it. Do you have a responsibility to provide oversight to the district to ensure that the athletic department is protecting the students and saving the community so they're not wasteful? Oh, I'm sorry, what's the last part of it? And saving the community so that they are not wasteful. So For instance, that wasteful? they turn off the lights at the end uh -huh. of the day. Or Do you have a responsibility as, as the athletic committee member of a government agency that blessed you to be on the committee, to be able to act on behalf of the board, to provide oversight to the athletic department. If you understand that. So the, yeah, so the, it's a simple process. The government agency board assigns committee uh, members. You've been assigned to buildings and grounds and you've been assigned to the athletic committee. Your assignment to the athletic committee is duly authorized by the board. So you're acting as a government agency in that committee. The, the committee meetings are public. You have to comply with the Sunshine Act. You can make recommendations, but you can't take official action. You can do certain things to provide a benefit to the community and to the board in that committee meeting. So the question becomes, your job is to provide oversight to the athletic department. What oversight did you provide? I don't understand the question, so. Do you, do you realize you have a responsibility to provide oversight to the athletic department as a athletic committee member? Yes, I do. Okay, what responsibilities of oversight do you have and which ones do you take? I don't know. Have any responsibility to verify the information provided by the solicitor? No, I'm not sure. One of the other claims within the complaint is the failure, supposed alleged failure, of the school district to file their annual financial report in a timely manner due under Pennsylvania school code on or before October 31st with a grace period to the end of November. Are you familiar with that responsibility as a school board member? Uh, I'm not sure. When the annual financial report is published, do you read it? I glance over, don't read it word for word, glance over it, yes. Is the information contained in the AFR beneficial to you in formulating a preliminary budget? 
Yes. Can you in good faith provide a preliminary budget without having access to the annual financial report? That's not the responsibility of a school board director. Which part, the budget? Right. And verifying it with the AFR? I, like I said, we, I, I trust our administration. Okay. Is it a blind trust or do no. you verify it? No. no. Full sentence, sir. I, I didn't want to. I said no. I know, but no what? You, you don't blindly trust the administration, so you, you verify some of it? Verify with whom? Who's he? Verify with who? With, with the documents. No. Uh, do you verify documents presented to you by the administration? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still unclear. Verify them with who? If he's given documents about administration, who is he supposed to verify them with? I don't understand. He, he's supposed to verify them. With so who? Let's, let's try That's my question. With who? Uh, let me, let me try to help okay. along. Okay. When you get a bank statement personally, do you reconcile your account, bank account at home? I don't do our bank account. Okay. Have you ever reconciled a bank account? No. Never in your life? No. When you get your phone bill, do you verify the phone bill that you get? Everything's done online. Do you check? When you get your tax bill, do you check it against the year before's tax bill? I do not handle the financials in our home. Do you have the skill of handling the financials within your home? Objection, that's not relevant. His ability to handle Okay, his do you have the skills to handle the finances of the district? I'm, I'm not answering that. Last page. It talks about the required repairs. What is the number for required repairs in the feasibility study? You mean uh, total evaluation? No, no, bottom, it says required repairs. Should be about $75,000. It just says rank one total cost, 75500 Rank one, okay. And then number two, which was recommended, what was the recommended repairs? Rank number two? Yes, should be 759,700. Like Perfect. And then rank number three, which would be the optional repairs? Well, 3,500 hours. For a total of? 838,700 hours. Excellent. Have you ever seen that document before? No. No. But. I can tell you this about the old stadium, you would not have gained one parking spot. That doesn't include ADA accessibility. Uh, there's a lot not included in that study. Uh, okay. But this study was provided by a professional to the district during your tenure as a board member. That's just putting a patch on it. Did you, yeah, did you read it no. at the time? Okay. No problem. How much did the new stadium cost? Oh, approximately 6.3, somewhere around there. Was it on the budget? That I don't recall. Okay. Were you ever told that the new stadium was not on the budget? No. Okay. This is the performance audit from the Auditor General, October of 2020. Okay. Are you familiar with that document? No. Did you have a copy of that document? Actually, it, what's the date on this? October, October of 2020. Well, I'm, it, it, goes, it covers the period up through 2019. Well, I'm still going to object to its use because it, it was produced a after the filing of this complaint. I, I understand, but the data inside of it okay. is provided from 2015 to 2019. Okay. That's when it ended. So it's already been added to your pile. It's been reviewed. We had other. But that, that means testify. I can still object to it. I understand that. In that auditor report, it documents going over the budget. Are you familiar with this report? Did you have a copy of this report? No, it's not familiar. Okay, you're not familiar with the report. Do you have a copy of this report? Not that I know of. Was one provided to you? Not that I remember. 
if it was provided to you, would you have read it? Sure. Okay. I'm going to make the statement that it was emailed to you. Do well, you still hold a school district email address? I'm in the process of getting one from our personal one, yes. We have 180 days to get a school email address. Okay. But you, you, you currently are using a personal one? Yes. And it's still your wife's? It's ours. Okay. And you don't recall that being sent to you by the Auditor General? No. Did Larry Stern provide you with a copy? I'm not that I remember. Did our treasurer, Nathan Fuller, provide you with a copy? Not that I remember. Did Rita Spinelli, the vice president, provide you with a copy? No. When you heard it came out, did you seek a copy? No. Okay. Wow. You testified that the stadium cost about $6.3 million. It was found to be not within the budget. It was in excess of the budgeted amount. Where did the money come from to pay for the stadium? That's, I'm not familiar. That's, you'd have to see the business office for that. Did the payment come from the general fund or did we borrow money to buy the stadium? I'm, I'm That's not, the answer. He just said the business office has the answers you're okay. looking for. Do you remember borrowing money to buy the stadium or do we pay for it with our cash? I'm not cash? familiar. You're not That's, familiar. Uh, Are you familiar with the vote that you took along with Larry and Steve to move $8 million from the general fund into a committed fund to protect the teachers, pension plans, and other benefits that we're going to need in the future so that those could be committed funds? I cannot, I'm going to object to the extent that there's no reference to, to budget for the teachers anywhere in this complaint. It's, it's all about excess of the budget, sir. So I'm just saying that that was not pled in this man I appreciate that. action. I'm asking the question, please answer or refuse to answer. Or if you know. If you know. I, I, so I'm not familiar. Do you remember moving $8 million no. to protect the... No. For, for the, for the pension? Okay. Well, can you show well, him where he did? Do you, do you have yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, oh. I have it. I don't have it with me. I'll, I will provide that to you. And in addition to that $8 million that was moved there, do you remember pulling from that committed fund and then voting to authorize the building of a stadium? No. So if I ask you the question, where did the district find the funds to buy the new stadium? How would you answer? I have no, I'm not sure. You'd have to go through the business office. As a school director, what are your responsibilities in relationship to the budget? Well, approve or not approve. How about the creation? That, again, would be up to the professionals and the administration. How about transportation? Objection. I don't think that's referenced in this complaint it's, as well. It's, it's all about the budget, but that's fine. You can object to not answer. How about transportation? Uh, what about transportation? Is it the board's responsibility to either make sure that it is funded or not funded within the community? I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. Do you have the responsibility to oversee the administration? As far as? All areas underneath the Pennsylvania school code. I'm not sure what is. Is it your responsibility to ensure that the administration does their job in accordance with Pennsylvania school code? Well, I object. This is, this, uh, this is asking this is for general... a conclusion. He's not a lawyer or a judge. No, I, I, I don't need him to be. Does he have any responsibility to oversee the administration? I, I'm not familiar with what you're asking. Do you provide direction to the administration or do they provide direction to you as a director? We kind of work together. Okay. And who has the authority in that relationship? Again, I'm not sure. Okay. 
do you have any responsibility to ensure the staff are protected and the resources of the district are used and administered efficiently? To protect the, what do you, what do you? To protect the staff and ensure that the resources of the district are administered efficiently. As a board, not as an individual. Okay, let's go back to the stadium for a second. An Annie Hayes program was offered to the district back in February of 2020 after it was reported in the general media that we had issues. What efforts did you take to bring a program to the entire community to stop the hazing and bullying issues that we were experiencing? Uh, well, we let the administration handle that. So, and as far as we know today, nothing else has occurred. When the community sponsored an educational program, an intervention, in cooperation with the Carbon District Attorney's Office, Pennsylvania Attorney's General's Office, and the Safe to Say Office, as a member of the Athletic Committee, what did you do? I left the, the process unfold and, and I'll take over from there. Did you attend the meeting? Um, I was at Franklin Fire Company. Yes, sir. I think I was, I'm not sure. You don't remember? No. Did any of your family members attend? I can't answer that. Do you remember seeing any of the athletes or students or teachers in the room? No. I. I understand there were some, Mrs. Holland was there. That's uh, all I can answer. You don't remember seeing her there? No. Did the board ever apply the Lehighton Area School District policy to the students found to be hazing? I have no idea. The district allegedly never responded to the formal written complaint do you know why? No. Does the school district have a policy against hazing? Um, yes. Where it's would it be found? Coach's conduct. Where would it be found? In the coach's code of conduct. And where would the policies regarding hazing be found? Um, I'm sure they're in their policy somewhere. Do you know of any policies that you'd want to change because of the events that took place? I'm not sure what policies you're talking about. School policies, the heightened area school district policies. I'm sure there have been adjustments since that hazing incident. I'm not sure, but I'm sure that our administration took action. And how would you confirm that? I, I can't. Just. Okay. Right. That's fair enough. I got I to gotta ask the question, sir. Committee meetings obligated to comply with the Sunshine Act as part of the agency. As far as? Public access, all, recording of them. All I can tell you, I'm on athletics and building and grounds and they're all public meetings. Excellent, okay, and they're, that committee is part of the agency. The, part yes. of what agency? You keep referring part to the of agency. the Lehighton Area Government Agency. It's, it's part the, and the parcel part, of the agency. Are they part of the school district or? Part of the school district government okay. agency. It's defined as agency okay. in, the, in the Sunshine okay. Act. And the committees and parts thereof of this agency are, are in compliance with the Sunshine Act. As far as I know, so the yes. public, people yes, can attend. People can attend, absolutely. Right. So please remind us the circumstances that had you tell the audience in one of these public meetings in regards to the stadium that they can kiss your ass. I'm, <laughs> you know, my reputation in Lehighton after 36 years with the Franklin Township Athletic Association, 29 as president. Uh, my feelings towards the youth in the area is well documented. And 
my comments sometimes, but they were not directed at any individuals or groups. So it was just my feeling and I left it out. That's right, it. and I respect that. And, and, yeah. and voicing your mind is part of America. When you voiced your mind that they can kiss your butt, derriere, however you want to place it, I think your exact words were kiss my ass. But the point is, when you made those emotional based statements, referring to the buying of a stadium for the kids, what were you thinking at the time? What were you, I mean, what was your feeling? What was your emotional, I want to do this? I object. That has no basis or relation to anything in the complaint. He had an emotional outburst at a meeting. Uh, it's that, fine. That's We're wondering what he, why he decided, as a director, to vote to buy a stadium, construct a stadium. Well, you can ask him. When you know, it was within the budget. You, that's not what you said. You can, you can ask him what was the basis of his vote, but, what's but why the basis he made some of your comment? Vote? That's fine. What's the basis of your vote? I mean, to to, to calls, tell him. spend funds, educational funds, on a stadium. That was off budget. There's, no, I'm not going to comment on that. That's Witness refused to answer. Who do you answer to as a school director? Who do I answer to? Yeah. Um, that's a general question. How long have you been on this board? Since 2007. 13 years? going in the 14. You're an educated man? High school. Excellent. Like myself. Do you remember required readings in high school? Objection. I don't know where this is going. This seems way off target. Did you ever read the book Lord of the Flies? Objection. Don't answer <laughs> this. He's not going to answer. Okay. Witness refused to answer. No, I instructed him not to answer. That's fine. The Auditor General has documented the board's noncompliance with Pennsylvania School Code as a director for the period reviewed, which falls within your purview of your 13 years as a district. It shows numerous occasions that this government agency failed to act in compliance with the Pennsylvania School Code. Did you review any of those non-compliance issues related to your tenure as a school director? Sure, I read over them. Okay. What would you change if you had the opportunity, now that you have the foresight and the experience behind you? Right now we're relying on the people in office right now to turn things around, which they are. When the district chose to build the stadium and the elementary center, did you have any discussions or negotiations with other board members or community members related to the size of the gymnasium in exchange for your vote? No. <laughs> Did you have any discussions related to the dedication of the stadium to your war buddy? This is... Yeah, I, I'm going to check. I, I don't know where, where this is going. Okay. So to back up before your break, I don't believe we got an answer, so I'll ask again. Did, did you have any discussion related to the dedication of the stadium in reference to your war buddy? No. Okay. Did you lobby Tom Zimmerman, a board member at the time, to resign? No. Is the building of the stadium a no-brainer? Objection. I don't know what, what, what that even means. I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm asking if you felt that the benefit to the stadium and building the stadium was a no-brainer. Benefits benefit. the students, benefits the school, allows the Certainly. community more parking, as you said. Right. Handicap accessible. Yep. And what, what else? Give me, the, give me the good list. Lots of parking, a real bathrooms yep. in our field house. God bless it. My wife appreciates that. Uh -huh. there's, there's lots. Excellent. Yep. So did you pen this letter? No. This is the Absolutely. Tom Zimmerman letter? Yeah, I, 
this was sent to Rocky, who was the president. Can I ask what, what exhibit that is? Um, it's, pull it up. it's under. Sure, I know. No. It was sent to Rocky. As far as I know, and whoever the concerned city is a coward, if I wrote a letter, I would well, sign it. Well, I'm, I'm still reading. What, what's the date of this letter? What is, what is this? Oh, that's from way. This goes back to when the construction of the stadium and yeah. the fact that there was a board member that was in opposition to spending the money off of the budget. And this is signed by, by who? Nobody. It was an anonymous. Well, well, well we're not asked. We're not going to answer yeah, that. Some things it's, that are not authenticated. We're not answering. Did you? That. Yeah. Did you participate in any way, or the idea to create such a? No. Tommy and our friends. Yeah, we. No question pending. Okay. Are you friends with Tom Zimmerman? Yes. There you, go. you can elaborate if you wish. But you don't have to. You don't have to. I just no, don't want to. We've just trunk known you. each other and dealt with him for since uh, I can remember with Zimmerman's Dairy. Yeah, and we always and we continue today. And his his competitor would be. Wait, wait competitor to who? Where are we going? I have no idea. That's fine. Do you know the competitor to Zimmerman's Dairy? This is, is no, no. Don't answer this. Stop. This is ridiculous. The auditor general documented how the board failed to follow the law, with you as the director during that period of time. Who should take the blame for these actions? Objection. Blame for for what? The auditor, the, the, the auditor general report speaks, it's, it's a document that speaks for itself. He didn't author the document. He, he can't speak to its conclusion. Right. Who holds the board of school directors accountable? Objection. Accountable to who? T for what? To their duty as an elected official. If Who's the authority answer. over the board, Mr. Wentz? Does the, is there any authority greater than the board? I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm asking if, if there's an authority over the board. You, the, the administration, the, 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 board, the authority over the administration would be no. the board. They can't do anything without a policy. They can't do anything without a budget. They can't do anything without the, the authority the of the board. The board is made up of nine individuals plus a superintendent. Do not act alone. So I understand. That's and my answer. Is the superintendent a member of the board? He would be the 10th member. Is he a voting member? No. Does he have any authority as a board of director? Objection. There's been no allegation as to the actions of the superintendent in this complaint. This but is we outside have the scope. We do have accusations about board members not taking their lawful authority and responsibility. Yeah, but now we're asking about, about, about the, uh, the superintendent. He doesn't appear in the complaint. We're beyond the scope. Do you have no, another question? You're not going to ask that? Okay. No, because he's been instructed not to answer it. When it comes to hiring staff, school staff, Coaching staff, what is the process? Objection. There's no allegations as to hiring practices of the district in this campaign. It does relate it to the consumption of funds and payroll. We want to know who's on the staff and who's not on the staff and make sure that the payments are made to the people on the staff and those that are not on the uh, staff. Is, is there any, uh, any evidence here about, about staff hiring? We're trying to uh, define that, sir. That's what Discovery is about. Well, 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 yeah, but Discovery isn't like, like this, this fishing Number 607, there, payment of the things in the future. 609, excess budgets, failure to comply with the AFR, which has documents in it. The question is, when it comes to hiring, either school staff or coaching staff, what is the process? If you know. As far as I know, advertise and people send their resumes and they take it from there. Who do the resumes go to? I would think the administration office. And does the board have access to those resumes? I'm sure if they ask. What responsibility as a school director do you have related to hiring? Objection, this is outside of the scope. There's been no allegations regarding some misconduct in hiring by any of the defendants here. Do you have another question? Do you oversee the schedules of the coaches, supervision, or actions of the subordinates under the board as listed in the organizational chart? Objection. There's, there's been no allegation as to a, a claim of lack of supervision or negligent supervision of the administration or any of the hired staff. Yet the individual 
is testifying that he trusts the professional, listens to the professional. And I'm asking, does he, do you oversee the schedule of coaches, supervision, or actions of the subordinates under the board, which he is a member, but there's been no, as listed in the organizational chart? But there's been no allegations as to the hiring practices, uh, not talking about hiring. supervision. You're asking about hiring, supervision. There's nope, no I'm allegations not. as to any failure of any of these defendants here and their responsibilities in that role. So I think we're outside of the scope of the complaint. Who creates the budget, Mr. Wentz? I would think the administration. And if the budget is short for things that the board of directors wants to authorize, what would be the process to make sure the budget is changed or funded in a way that you could consume those educational funds. What's the process to change the budget? I'm not sure. Back to the letter that's on that paper clip, Stern 1. Oh, it's over there. An email was provided to the board on January 9th, 2004. I'm sorry, January 9th of 2020 at 2.04 p.m. Formal written complaint with the subject, formal written complaint of sexual abuse and sent to the entire board. How did you respond to that letter? By letting the process take care of this. As a, in, in, we cannot act as an individual, so this was turned over to the proper authorities and gone through the proper channels. And did you send it to the proper authority? No. You assume that the proper authorities got a copy of it right. because Mr. Cleaver's CC'd on the... I'm sure. And, and is he the proper authority for that? Well, he would know who to contact and handle this situation. Do you know who to contact and handle such a situation? No. Okay. One more second here, sir, excuse me. Do you know if the school district advertised the buildings in the Carbon County Law Journal? I'm not sure. Do you have any responsibility to the stakeholders in the community that want access to you as a school director to provide them that access? As far as? Hosting a meeting. They want, they want to petition you. They want to meet with you. Do you have any responsibility? With him individually? No. You're asking? Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's his constituents. What responsibility do you have to the constituents? They have to follow the proper channels. Okay. And what would be the proper channels to get access to their government? Through the school, the website, go on there, make a couple phone calls, whatever, but I cannot act as an individual. You must act as a school right. board. If they want to lobby the board as a government agency, what is the process? <laughs> I'm not sure. And you have 13 years of experience on this board, correct? Yes. Right. I'm, I'm done. Okay, so what's that? Just have a Answer all you want. A couple of quick questions for you. There's been a lot of discussion about the stadium. Was the stadium, stadium in the capital part of the budget? No. Uh, did the auditor report any issues to you? About the stadium, no. Did Mr. Fike or whoever was the business manager report any issues to you? No.